In this module, we will look at 15 suggestive tips that will help you succeed in school. 1. Register for classes early. Meet with an academic counselor or make sure you have an active SEP before your enrollment date begins. Core subjects such as English composition, biology, and math classes fill up quickly. As well, certain professors and class meeting times are popular. 2. Practice time management. Avoid taking too many or difficult classes, especially in your first semester. Every hour in class you are spending is about two hours studying outside of class. 3. Get on the waiting list if the class is full. If you are on the waiting list, go to class and wait for the instructor to provide guidance on whether you can be officially enrolled. They will provide you with a permission number. Once you have the permission number, go back to your Passport Student Center, click on the wait listed class, and enter that permission number. Now you are officially enrolled. 4. Arrive to class early. Try to arrive at least 10-15 minutes before class. If you miss the first day of class, the instructor might give your spot to another student. Getting to class early may also be beneficial if you are on the wait list. 5. Read class syllabus. The syllabus is your contract for the class. It includes the instructor's policies around grades, assignments, expectations, and attendance. 6. Get to know your instructors. Building a rapport with your instructors is another tip for success. Asking questions and getting clarification enhance understanding and comprehension. You can do this by asking in class or visiting office hours. 7. Take class responsibility. Attend every class. If you know you are going to be absent for a doctor's appointment, it's okay. Just send the professor a kind email reminder. Be attentive and participate. Professors know who is paying attention and who is falling asleep. Have your notes ready from the night before and be ready to be called upon in class when asked. 8. Build accountability. Avoid any misconduct that may result in disciplinary action, such as a failing grade or expulsion. Cheating, plagiarism, and falsifying information are all forms of misconduct. 9. Be prepared for exams and tests. Start with your instructor and syllabus as stated before. A large part of what to expect on an exam is talking with your instructor and looking at your syllabus for review. 10. Value yourself. You come all the way from your country to the United States to achieve a goal. There's a lot of value in that. Many people don't leave their country, let alone their neighborhoods. You did. There is strength in that. You have accepted challenges by being here. Continue to move towards the goal and take action. 11. Have a positive attitude and stay focused. Think about the results of your goals and not just the goals themselves. Remember, your successes, even small successes. Rewarding yourself at each step of the way gives you pause on what you have achieved. If you cannot stay focused because your goals seem too big, break the goals into smaller manageable pieces. This also helps with staying on track and not as overwhelmed. 12. Balance schoolwork and life. This involves working on your time management skills. Make sure you have enough time for studying and appropriating extra time for socializing. If you easily get distracted to hang out because you study where you live, go to the library. Talk to your counselor if you are having difficulties with balancing school life and social life. 13. Utilize campus resources. Please take advantage of our campus resources. Use the library. It's full of resources and a place to study. 14. Support systems. Join a study group. Sometimes it is a good idea to interact with your fellow students. 
sometimes you might have the answers and sometimes they will have the answers. Visit a tutor center to get additional help for your classes for free. And lastly, if you are having trouble with selecting classes or deciding on a major, visit an academic counselor about an academic plan. 15. Mental and physical awareness. Be prepared mentally. Don't overwhelm yourself with too many units. Classroom time to study time is 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. That means that for every hour you spend in class, you should spend 2 to 3 hours out of class working independently on course assignments. Also, consider your studying and homework habits. When are you most productive? In the morning or at night? Be prepared physically. Physical preparation includes maintaining a good sleep schedule, exercising, and having a balanced diet. Thank you for completing our video on Tips for Success.